there's the reset switch there and here's the dip switches we need for setting the various things the heat sink is fairly beefy So this is the reset switch which has been taped to the negative terminals. So it just pokes through there. Right, so I'm pretty sure we need dip switch number one in the on position. That should enable load diversion control. Uh, now dip switches two and three will set the battery voltage so I'm going to actually set it at 12 so that means switch two in the off position, switch one in the on position, switch three in the on position so switch two off which it already is and switch three on. So dip switch number one is either solar battery charging or load diversion control and then dip switches two and three of the voltage so we've set the voltage for 12 volts if we wanted 24 volts then switch two is on and switch three is off so that would mean switch two is on and switch three is off so that's 24 volt but i'm going to change it back to 12. i'm just going to check that so switch two is off switch three is on there you go so that's right so we've got it in 12 volt mode now dip switches four five and six are for us to select our battery voltage i think i'm going to go with 14 which is here so that means that's nice and easy dip switch four five six need to be in the off position so we have four five and six in the off position dip switch seven battery equalization uh, let me read this in auto equalization mode battery equalization will automatically start and stop according to the battery program selected by dip switches four five and six uh, that was what we've just done a minute ago uh, the battery equalization will automatically start and stop according to the battery program selected by blah 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 see section four for detailed information about battery equalization right hang on a sec uh, equalization many batteries benefit from a periodic boost charge to stir the electrolyte level the cell voltages and complete the chemical reactions the green led will blink rapidly two to three times per second well that sounds good we'll have that on so to enable battery equalization we're going to put it on automatic which means dip switch seven needs to be in the on position so dip switch seven to the on position And so, dip switch 8, noise reduction. The PWM battery charging algorithm, I got it right this time, thank you, is standard for Morningstar charge controllers. However, in cases where PWM regulation causes noise interference with loads, oh no, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, so, dip switch 3, PWM, oh, I'm not, I don't really understand that. Uh, I'm just going to put it in PWM, so that's number 8 down. So just to confirm, switch one in the on position, which is up, switch two is down and three is up, which is for the 12 volts. We've set the maximum top voltage. Yeah, we've set the maximum all three switches off, so it's 14 volts. Okay, so that's how it looks for 12 volts. And we'll take it in the shed and we'll see if we can get it installed. Sweet. That's got that out, so I didn't see the point of knocking both of them out. So I'm going to do, that's the jumper settings. I'm going to upload this and I'll make another video of me connect it up to the turbine. Cheers.